Hello and welcome to the DIY Gang Guide. I'm Xiao Do, your guide to independence in the music industry. I'm in Eastbourne. I'm next to a train. I'm on my way back to London. I've had a great day. Met a lot of cool people. Big up to everybody in Eastbourne. Been doing my thing. As usual, being an independent musician, um, it's not easy, but you put the work in. Um, I mean, for me, I always say that the music has to come first, you know? Yes, you have to make money when you're an artist, otherwise you cannot continue your artistry independently. But the first, your primary focus should always be making music over money. Money comes second, it's sort of a happy uh, reward for making good music. Now, uh, what I wanted to discuss, I had a really cool question on Facebook that I wanted to address. Somebody said to me, how do you find out that you're good? How do you know when your music's good, when it's ready to take to other people? Now, um, it's okay asking, it's all, it's all right asking friends and family for their opinion, but remember, they love you, they ain't gonna give you like a super honest opinion because they don't want to hurt your feelings. So I use what I call the stranger test. Now the stranger test literally involves you walking up to a stranger or talking to a stranger. Um, I know that's scary for some people, but you gotta do it. Just go up to a stranger, somebody you don't know, somebody who has no vested interest or reason to lie to you and play them some music. Just like, don't even tell them it's your music, just ask if you know, they'd mind listening to some music um, and play it to them, literally, and just get their honest opinion on it. That's the stranger test. Now, when you're starting out, it's gonna be, you know, it's always gonna be a little bit difficult because, you know, maybe your music's not up to scratch or up to the required standards, so you need to also be able to take um, positive criticism or just bad criticism or any criticism in general and use it to improve on what you're doing. But the stranger test is really useful because it gives you probably the most honest opinion you're gonna get and quite frankly, a lot of the people listening to your music are gonna be strangers, so why not start there? For me, my, my every day is a stranger test. You know, I'm always walking up to people I don't know and playing them my music, so I know that you know the overwhelming opinion is that, yeah, it's good and that a lot of people like it, so I need to get a haircut, I just realised. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it, I mean, that's, that's just my opinion, that's just a little bit of advice. Use the stranger test, especially with new music, I always use it, even with, even to this day, you know, when I'm trying out new songs and stuff like that, if I'm not, because, you know, when you're too close to a piece of music, you get a bit invested in it, and then it's a bit difficult to know whether or not what you're hearing is what everyone else is hearing. Mm. So yeah, sometimes when I'm on the train heading somewhere, I'll just literally, if someone's next to me, I'll just say, yo, excuse me, would you mind having to listen to this and let me know what you think? That simple, you know? So try that out, see how it works. It's also Anyways. worth noting with the stranger test to try and tailor it a little bit wherever possible. So, you know, try and find someone who would listen to your genre of music. You don't want someone into like hardcore drum and bass and you make rock and you're asking them to give you an opinion because obviously they're not going to like it or they might do and then boy you've just stumbled on a new on a new fan base but you know try and get it try and get, try and find your stranger try and make your stranger someone who's likely to listen to your music in the first place and have thick skin that's probably the most important advice I can give you have thick skin because you know you're going to get your feelings hurt and if you take it to heart you're not going to last too long so you know take criticism on the chin learn from it wherever possible and know what criticism is worth listening to and what is worth just letting fly off your back like a duck in water, you know? Um, so yeah, that's all I gotta say on this issue right now. Nice one. Peace. I'm independent, better recognize I'm a king's descendant If they wish to end us and I bring the vengeance You can't buy me with your bings of pendants Cause I'm independent, better recognize I'm a king's descendant If they wish to end us and I bring the vengeance You can't buy me with your bings of pendants DIY gang, DIY gang It's also worth noting with the stranger test to so try and shut up